I am making such a big deal about not disrupting this tarantula that, of course, I dropped the cricket. I mean, of course. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another video on my channel. Today, I want to talk about what does it mean when a tarantula is wild caught and how I came about to be interested in this topic. So when we talk about a tarantula being wild caught, we simply mean that a tarantula was hatched in a natural environment and that it grew to be a juvenile or a subadult or an adult, and someone came along and captured it. They sold it to a vendor breeder, and that vendor or breeder sold it to a customer who is a tarantula keeper. And this is as opposed to a tarantula being bred, born, and hatched in captivity in a breeder's home or office. So I came about this topic because I noticed that my new Ephibopus marinus, my skeleton leg tarantula, was having difficulty acclimating to her new home with me. And so some of the experts at the tarantula community group on Facebook suggested that this difficulty was due to the fact that she was likely wild caught. And so I happened to notice that two big commonalities very nervous when I go to feed her, and also refusing to eat in front of me or when any live being is remotely nearby, were shared in common with some of my other tarantulas that I too bought when they were sub-adults or adults. And so I wondered, hey, were these tarantulas in my collection also wild caught? And so I went and I asked every breeder vendor that I had bought those adult specimens from and confirmed that yes, every tarantula that I was comparing to my Ephibopus marinus's behavior was also wild caught. And so one of those tarantulas um, is my Aponopelma hensi here in this video. And as you see, I'm trying to be very careful not to disturb uh, the enclosure and failing miserable at it with this cricket that I dropped. But for this, Aponopelma hensi that was confirmed to be wild caught when I asked um, if I disturb this enclosure by moving it off the shelf, he will not, I'm assuming it's a he, he will not eat in front of me at all. Um, and he's one of my only wild caught tarantulas that will eat in front of me if I'm not too disruptive. That's as opposed to my Aponopelma gabelli here. Her name is Helix and I also cannot move her enclosure from the shelf um, it's too disruptive for her no matter what she will not eat in front of me um, tongue feeding results in a threat uh, threat posture here and i jokingly call her my ryan gosling won't eat his cereal spider so this footage here was taken several hours later and she finally decided to nab that cricket once she was quite certain that no one was around to possibly watch her eat or maybe attack her or something while she was eating. This tarantula here is Albali. This is my Brachypelma albiceps. He is male and he has just gorgeous coloration. Um, he is probably one of my most defensive wild caught tarantulas. Um, in this video, you can see I probably opened the enclosure gently enough for him as he did not immediately start kick, 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 kicking those hairs, which he will so often do to any slight little disruption or vibration. And you can see the bright orange hairs just flying off of him like little darts. And this was about 10 minutes later, he did finally grab that cricket um, and start eating it. And then in honor of Linus, my Ephibopus marinus female, I will show a few pictures of her. I am not going to video her um, or me attempting to feed her for this video just because um, I'm really trying to reduce any disruption that's near her. So I'm just going to show you some pictures. So thanks so much for listening to some of the commonalities that I noticed between my wild caught tarantulas. If you liked what you saw here, you can follow their photo stories by each of their hashtags on Instagram and follow me in, in on Instagram in general. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope I see you again in my next video.